Okay, this is probably the easiest Sunday roast you'll ever make. A roast beef fillet with a red wine glaze. Now this recipe uses one of the most useful functions of my ASCO steam oven, probe cooking. This is actually a heat proof thermometer. You put it into the meat, plug it into the oven and let the oven do the work. It'll tell you when the meat's cooked absolutely perfectly. First to prepare our beef fillet. All you need to do, olive oil first with a bit of salt and pepper. Really rub that in nicely. You can tie up a beef fillet if you want to, but I reckon for a regular Sunday dinner, it's not all that important. And then we'll sear it over on the hob. Now I've got my nice beef roasting tray on the induction hob here, so I just want to set that to bridge mode. That'll give me even heat across the entire pan. And that's great for searing off. The beef's already oiled, so I don't need to put any extra oil in the pan. I'll just drop that straight in. I want a good sear on all sides of the beef, even on the ends there. Bridge induction is perfect for this, because it means you get even heat across the entire length of the pan. No hot spots where you've got a burner. It's all the same from here, every centimetre, all the way to the end. That looks great. So I'll turn that off and get my probe in. Now this takes all the guesswork out of cooking. With the probe you're going to get a perfect result every single time. I want to get the probe in to the very centre of the meat where it's going to take the longest to cook. Now all we have to do is get it into our preheated oven. And that is cooked perfectly. Take the probe out, get the meat to another tray to rest, and then we can get making our sauce. So I want to make my sauce in the pan because it's got all of these beautiful little crusty bits in there and they're great flavour. So back onto bridge mode. And a little bit of butter to get us started. And some shallots. And some garlic. And I'll just sweat those off and cook them down a little bit. Now, some red wine. Now you can use any red wine you like, but the important thing to remember is it's gonna get really reduced, so the flavor is gonna intensify, so I prefer something a little bit lighter. Let's break up all of those bits that are at the bottom of the pan. Some thyme in there as well. Some beef stock, and just let that reduce. And because we've got all of that heat coming from both of the induction plates up into there is going to reduce really quickly. And I'll just cook those off until they really cook down. we we'll give it a bit of gloss, just a bit more cold butter, and finish it off with just a splash of red wine vinegar to freshen it all up. And I'll strain that off and serve that with our rare beef fillet.